Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Quake 2 Juggernaut. Now, when you last of all left off with us, um, we were looking at these fans, wondering what they actually do and who they are. And I can hear some gunner or berserker in the background. So let's investigate those fans. I believe they might be under the water. Because we didn't really investigate this part. Yeah. Ah, in the power tube. For some bizarre reason. Okay. Well, let's have a look. Now this area is... Aha! Well, what do you know? That's the power cube. I don't remember that being there before, but anyway. Hmm. Unless that pushing that button earlier on was what did it. Maybe that's correct, I guess. Uh, looks like this elevator doesn't... Oh no, hang on. I forgot. I have to shoot this to make it go. Okay. What's it saying about these? Oh, massive fans, yeah. I'm your biggest fan. Oh, we'll see about that. Ah, those, fan oh, those fans were already stopped. So we need to get to, I presume, where we were before. There's something going on around here, and I don't know what. We're back in this room again. Oh, hang on, no, this is different. Yeah. So, oh no, we needed the. Forgot, we need to get into the water. So confusing. And use the power cube. So what did that do? Ah. Hmm. It looks like this is the way to go. We go down here? Oh no! Ah, there we go. Are we inside some sort of generator? Well, at least we have a weapon that's equally matched to these guys, because I'm not using expensive ammo on them. Okay, so I take it the fans that we were, those levers we were pushing a button earlier on were controlling these fans. Oh, that's a gunner. He needs something more powerful. Oh, grenades! The great thing about the gunners is at least when you hit them with one explosion, they uh, stumble. It gives you a time to shoot an extra one. And that usually takes care of them. Two direct explosions should kill a gunner. Ah, the fans are back on again. Probably not a good idea to keep them on though. Because no doubt we'll run into more. Hmm. Huh. So ow. What do we do with this place then? Oh, does that maybe open something here? Nothing in there. What about something else? What's the point in this room? Is there a point to it? What's up there? Can I maybe get up there somehow? No. Okay, well, in order to get away from here. need to move back through. Is that? No, see there's no, there's nothing really there. Oh, wait a minute. Is there any? No. Did that do anything? I haven't a clue. I don't think it did. Well, I'll pick up that health anyway. And there's an ammo for the chain gun. Full ammo for it now. So... Is there anything else then? Any other place that we haven't been to? 
I just feel that because that was there and that was open, it must have had something to do with it. Like I don't understand why these fans would be here. Without Yeah. Okay, well let's try and get down here again without putting and falling. Oh, that's not good. Oh, just grabbed on it. Okay, so that obviously turns those off and on. But what's beyond them that's so important? If anything. Okay, so I don't get why there's two. Oh great, I swear, I swear one of these times I'm going to break his legs with all the near misses I'm having. Oh wait a minute. I just feel as if there's maybe something important there. Can we get round there? I just don't understand what the point of this room is. I mean, does any of these... Do any of these open? No. So, what is the point in this? It sounds like a door that opens, but it's clearly not. I don't get this at all. There must be something in here, though, surely. Find access to the atmosphere processor, then go to the main complex. Hmm. It just seems like there's a reason to be here. If I would they put Oh Okay. So the answer was go into a tube which didn't have a a door, certainly not a door that looked like that. It just looked like an empty cavern. Well processing plant. Enormous reactors fueled by subterranean oceans still generate atmosphere after thousands of years. The processor is directly beneath. An elevator will bring you to the living area. The living area? Hmm. And we have a new weapon. The machine gun. It looks kind of weird, but it does the job. And tons more energy, of course. I think I'll use it for a while, just because. Oh, okay, there's a lift. We'll let that come back up again. Now the thing about a lot of Quake 2 guns is they have uh, wobbly gun texture syndrome, which is when the animation on the gun in first person activates, you get all these wobbly textures. But, oh hum. mow these guys down. This gun's not quite as uh, hard on the ammo. Just saving here. And, hmm. What's down here? Nothing. Except, there's no water physics in here. Which is bizarre. I feel they should have a secret area or something down there. But we've got tons more of... Oh, there's a gladiator there. Okay, he's trouble. Uh, yeah. Okay, he actually hit me once there, but never mind. We've got plenty of health. I'm just sort of straight and shoot me so they can't get me. Plenty of ammo as well, as I say. The problem with this game is it basically just revolves around mindless shooting. There's not enough interaction with the technology. I mean, yeah, you've got fans that turn off and on, but really it's just an obstacle. It doesn't really control anything in the environment, you know. Oh, 
switches direct to the chain gun again. Okay, I heard gunners. Ah, they're up there. The chain gun makes the same noise as the new machine gun. If you know how to use the chain gun properly, like if you can predict or if you can judge how. Oh, it's a monkey. If you can judge how much health an enemy has, you can let go of the chain gun and not waste ammunition because as soon as you let go, it still goes. If you let go of the fire button, it still fires. So it's an art of gauging, whereas this gun, despite the fact that it has recoil, is more easy on the ammo. I think these guys are supposed to be called Callistons because they live on the moon Callisto. But yeah, this is just mindless shooting here. Give us more level interactivity. I mean, it looks quite nice. Some of it does, anyway. Textures are a bit bland, but... Oh, there's a medic. Can't let him live. Okay, I think I'll switch to the other gun. Because... I've lost ammo for it. And lots of guys to use it. I still think it's hilarious how they duck, but they don't really duck. Can these guys do it as well? Yeah, they can. Okay, I'm going to go back and get some health. That's enough. 91. Oh, I'm not surprised they attacked these guys. 7 rockets now. 59 grenades, perfect. Oh, I missed. I didn't miss that time. Monkey! And the last monkey. Is this some control room or something? I think it is. Oh, it's cheered. I thought it was a ruined wall, but it's a chair. Oh, we can push this. No, we can't. We can push this. Yeah. I have no idea what it does. Though. You push it multiple times. No. Okay, so it's whatever it's done, it's done it. Ah. Okay, it must have gone bad. We'll just save here. And. You need the red key. Okay, fair enough. What's our objective again? The processor is directly beneath an elevator will bring you to the living area. You mean this is not a living area? There's plenty of life here. Well, until I'm through with it. There's another chunky chair. Oh, I knew it. Okay, those are something else. Oh, there's a key. Unless you mean this is the living area, because it's got like chairs and stuff. I don't know if this qualifies as living quarters. I mean, what are they supposed to be? Books or something? I don't know. But we got the red key, so that's fair enough. And this might take us to the elevator. Yay! But it is it the elevator? It certainly is the long elevator. Oh, I can hear some. Uh... Oh, we've still got plenty of kills to make. Look, sixty-nine out of one three one. Yep. Oh, these things. I forgot about these technicians. I think. I'll switch to this gun. And through this long corridor. Hmm, water. 
the serial must have been flooded a while ago. One thing that I have as a pet hate is doors which are marked that you can't get through. I mean, yes, we get the idea of realism, but it's not realistic that doors don't lead anywhere. I mean, if you're going to tempt the player with a door, at least build something behind it. Some small room or something. Okay, there's... You know, this is where a real gun would really come in handy. Let's get rid of these guys. Uh, rocket launch. Oh, that was, that's not a good idea. Uh, still no super shotgun though. Hmm, what can I use to kill these guys? I guess I could chance rockets. Yeah, well, that's not good. The problem is the rocket launcher is so slow in this game. Oh, got him. Get him again? Yeah. Whoa! Oh, he came out of nowhere. Oh, there's a lot of them. But there's a lot of enemies in general. Whoa. What is this? Well, it's an empty room, which was just what I was saying earlier on. That's fair enough, though. Right, this way then. Ah, I made it. Hmm. Oh, armor, that's useful. And there's a mutant around here, I think. Yep. These rooms look very blocky. I'll say that. The Quake 2 engine wasn't that detailed, but it wasn't as blocky as this. Oh. Wait, it to explode. And this looks like a place we'll need a key. Oh no! You don't need a key. Down to the next level. Wherever that is. Uh oh, water. Oh, fish. Mustn't forget to come up for air. Let's pick up the salmon as well. I'm not sure if this is going to be my most used gun, or if the machine gun is going to be my most used gun. Whoa, that's weird. Is that supposed to be like that? A wall of water. It's not a waterfall or anything. Ow. Okay, we need to get up. No, go away. I need to get up. Because I'm drowning. Drowning. Okay, that wasn't good. Can we go through here? Yes, we can. And I can hear flyers. But this is a painful corridor. Eh? Oh, these fish are following me all Let's pick up the health. In fact, let's pick up everything. Okay. And through the next door. One thing I always thought was weird was these guys making sort of woofing noise. Ah, oh, that must be the door. Poorly aligned texture. Yeah, the technicians make a sort of woofing noise. And that's always. It's in all Quake 2 games. Well, thank goodness we're out of here. And this 
could be the entrance to the next level. Yep. Okay, let me just check. Living quarters. Abandoned living areas show little evidence of the people who lived here. Passageways are littered with unwanted items, too heavy to carry. Okay, well, join me in part four of Quake 2 Juggernaut, so we're, where we explore the living quarters. This is Lizard Jeans signing out.